good morning everyone so today i'm going to try making well i'm going to make it i'm going to make moi moi with powdered bean flour so this is the bean flour just show you this is the bean flour that i'm going to be using and i've already used it with akara and the akara came out really really nicely so to make my moi moi i need a couple of things i'm going to use one onion this is one bell pepper and one scotch bonnet and i'm going to blend this all so let's get blending okay so i'm blending one onion first of all just to create that onion water and then after blending the onion to the smoothness i want very smooth of course <laughs> you want it to be very smooth i'm going to take one habanero chopped up and then also one bell pepper and i'm going to blend all of this together so just taking it uh you could blend the onion and the habanero and the which is called bonnet um bonnet <laughs> and uh, ataro dough and you can blend everything together all at once you don't have to do them separately anyway so i blended that set that apart now for the bean flour uh, I've never done this before, so this is my first time. So let's see how it goes. I decided to use just two cups of bean flour, and that proportion to me made sense. There's actually an instruction on the bag that tells you how much to use. By just the instruction, I don't know, I just didn't think that would be enough. I also added crayfish, and for the crayfish that I used, I added one Eping tablespoon at first, and then I added another one because you know it's just something about moi moi <laughs> about crayfish. I also added a quarter tablespoon of um bouillon cubes, Maggie, a quarter of salt, a quarter of curry, and a quarter tablespoon of thyme dressing. Of course, this is what it looks like before I started to mix everything together so all the dry ingredients i just take my whisk and i just whisk everything together to evenly coat it and evenly um, spread it around so that you know all the flour and the dressing and whatever is coated so now this is the part that i added two cups of water and that is a total of 16 ounces of water after adding in the water, I decided to just do a little bit of a mixing to see the mixture. And the mixture was, it was liquidy, you know, it wasn't too thick, but I still know that I need to add my pepper mixture. So I just kind of mix this together just to blend the flour and all the other spices and all the other ingredients. So just continue to mix everything together. As you whisk it together, it gave me that texture as if, you know, I was making puff puff. But anyway, so I'm just kind of whisking everything together. I don't know if any of you have made this before, uh, but this is how I made it. So for the pepper, I decided to only use half of that mixture. And that was because I don't want my moi moi to be over spicy. So I just used half of that mixture, which to me, I, I want to just eyeball it. Maybe it's about a cup of pepper mixture so that's just what i did and i mix everything together very well just take your time mixing mixing i mix faster than this is because i'm holding the camera <laughs> too much while i didn't want to set up my tripod i just i just didn't want to feel do all that stuff but anyway so i mix this yeah after mixing everything together i added my titles now for the titles this is what i did is also sudden i only took the oil from there uh, i like using the oil of the titles because it's flavored with the taste of the titles i also use palm oil and for the palm oil i added one tablespoon of palm oil i like adding palm oil to my moi moi i like just the way it tastes and also it gives it that unique color and i mixed all the oils together make sure you mix the oils thoroughly so you can see here i'm just showing you how to really mix it like whisk it really really well you know use your <laughs> muscles <laughs> and whisk it so that everything blends together you can also use a blend uh, a mixer electronic mix mixer but one thing you should do is also taste it so what i'm doing here is i'm going to taste to see 
if the saltiness and the sp spices is enough, well, I decided to add a little bit of like another quarter tablespoon of the bouillon, bouillon cubes, which is Maggi and also salt. And that was my perfect taste. So the texture, okay. Normally when I make my moi moi, there is usually more watery than this. I was a little bit nervous. Okay. It's, it's usually more smoother than this. I don't know, but these are the uh, fillings that I'm going to add boiled egg. And now this is a sardine from that titles container, you know, and I'm also going to cover my moi moi with aluminum foil. And I use these tin cups. Now these tin, uh, cups and of course, so you need oil, right? So I'm going to use this oil and I bought this on Temo. You can also get it on Amazon, <laughs> but anyway, I like this mini whisk, you know, like, um, coating brush oil brush it's so good i love it because it makes it easy for me to spread the oil around and get everything in the corner so that the moi moi doesn't stick now for my egg i decided to just uh, slice it i love using a egg slicer it gives it that uniformity uh look i don't like using knives some people if you don't have an egg slicer of course you can use knives to just slice your egg and just go around and just slice both eggs you're gonna need both eggs people unless if you're someone that you don't like your moi moi to be filled with so much stuff and uh -huh, then you can just use one egg it's up to you this is the titus uh sardine i like to mash it because i'm going to distribute it all over the moi moi so let's get into after i've matched it let's get into the moi moi solution so the moi moi i'm using this um spoon this is my moi moi spoon <laughs> because i know that when i measure it it feels the way that i want it's about i want to say it's about a cup of moi moi mixture but you just do if you like your moi moi to be filled to the brim just know that with moi moi it's gonna swell over time so this is how everything appears now i'm gonna take my titles sardine and i'm going to put it all in there i'm gonna add more in there and distribute it throughout all the moi moi mixture so just add your titles sardine add everything in there so that every bite you're going to taste it and i'm going to show you how to do that so that every bite <laughs> you'll taste it so now this is how i do it so that every bite you'll have some taste of sardine or something you're going to use your fork and you're going to just scramble everything together mix the powder and break up the you know fish and stuff so this is how i do it so that when you bite your moimo it's not like ah one part is lacking now for the fish um no for the egg okay so for the egg i just put two eggs in like that okay after i put it in there the next thing i do is i take my fork and i just press it a little bit so that the egg is not just sitting on top i mean you can leave it it will sit it will rise up by itself so just be careful because sometimes when you do this the yolk might break there's just something about yolk breaking that i don't like so next you're going to take the aluminum foil and you're going to use that to cover and seal the um moi moi container this is what it's going to look like so this is the container i'm using i'm using a deep stock pot i put some water in it you don't want to put a lot of water and then i'm just going to start putting my moi moi and i'm going to create like a tower but adjacent so that there's a space for the steam to rise up moi moi is made with steam okay you are not you can bake your moi moi i don't like the taste of baked moi moi i just I just don't like it. Then cover it. Okay, so now um, this is 30 minutes after. I just take a little bit of water and you can see the hole that I've created. And the hole is created because I did that stack in action. So I just take some water and put it in there because as you steam the moi moi, the water dries up. So you want to just put some more water. After putting your water, you want to just cover it up. And I'm going to put it for 15 more minutes so the total time that i use to make my moi moi is always 45 minutes and after that once it has been made you take everything out gently and you just set it out now i always set out my moi moi for about at least five to ten minutes just so that you know it will settle because if you set it out now and you start eating it you can do that too 
but you can't really take it out of the container because it's going to fall apart. So this is how the Moi Moi looks like. Uh, it's a little bit thicker than the one I make. I think next time I'm going to add more water. That is the thing I'm going to do next time because I think this one was a bit thicker. But it does look good. My husband tasted it and he liked it. He said it was okay. I do still prefer using my own Moi Moi, you know, the beans and stuff. Um, but my husband really, really liked it. He just gave me a thumbs up right now. <laughs> yeah, so, oh, you like, oh, okay, so, mistake. My husband prefers my own Moi Moi. You prefer my own? Yeah, okay, so my husband prefers my own Moi Moi to this one me using the beans or the peeled beans so that is it thank you so much for watching